The University Medical Center is looking for people to participate in a study to see if ivermectin and other drugs can treat COVID. Now, ivermectin is a drug typically used to treat parasitic infections, especially in livestock. News 4's Marissa Sulik explains why researchers are looking into it. For a long time, livestock, like horses, have been the main mammal treated with ivermectin. But could it be a treatment for COVID-19 in humans? <coughs> She says coughing to prove it. No, I'm just kidding. Carolyn Coleman was diagnosed with COVID earlier this month. I'm double vaccinated. The day before, she was scheduled to get her booster. So I want to do anything I can to help the science advance um, and help people, you know, stay well. While she has this short-term illness, she decided to take part in the remote active sick study and help COVID-19 in the long term. In the study, several hundred people across the country receive one of three medications, ivermectin, fluvoxamine, an antidepressant, and fluticasone for asthma treatment, which Coleman got. I didn't pick that one. It was picked for me. There is so much uh, misinformation about um, ivermectin that's out there. Dr. Parul Goyle is the principal investigator of the study at Vanderbilt. She says most people who take part are interested in ivermectin. The dose of the ivermectin that we're using in the study is a relatively lower dose, and it's a weight-based prescription. Dr. Goyle says ivermectin comes in a pill meant for humans. It's only seven milligrams compared to what's given to animals like horses. Ivermectin that was available for livestock is much more dangerous because the side effects um, are much more as the dose is highly concentrated. I don't feel any worse, but I was also kind of on the mend anyway. Coleman says while she didn't notice a difference in her symptoms with fluticasone, she wouldn't say no to ivermectin. I don't know anything about ivermectin. Um, I, I would have taken it because it was the um, agreement that I made with the study. A study Coleman says takes days to participate, yet could find a treatment for years to come. And anything I can do on that score to help um, help people heal is what I'm after. Marissa Sulek, News 4 Nashville.